Um, how do you think President Trump has affected American politics in the long term, and what do you think American politics will be like post-Trump? Um, I mean, here's the truth. I think that President Trump is more of an effect than a symptom of American politics. People like to see him as the guy who's pushed us into this vulgar territory in American politics, and then you remember that Barack Obama did an interview with a lady who bathed in Cheerios. And so, so President Trump is, is sort of the bizarro Superman version of Barack Obama. Right? Bar Barack Obama was, was very well spoken, very well kept, also happened to be deeply narcissistic, loved being on TV all the time, would interview in any entertainment context, would show up at the All-Star Game, at the Oscars, anywhere he could. Uh, and then along, come, along comes Trump, and Trump is that, except he's just way more vulgar, and he has worse hair, and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so the, the notion that Trump has permanently changed politics for the worse, I, I think that there's some truth to the notion that he has gotten people to accept things they wouldn't otherwise have accepted. So to take an obvious example, I'm old enough to remember when Republicans thought it was very bad when politicians had affairs. Right? I, that, that, I'm, that's because I'm more than three years old. Um, so <laughs> Republicans seem to care a lot less about that now because of, of President Trump. I don't think that's a good thing. I think that there's been a shift in terms of people separating character out from the presidency or from political office, people basically bifurcating the two, now making, fully embracing the Clintonian argument in 1998 that you can be a wonderful president and also be kind of a crappy human being. And I think that people on the right have basically embraced that for the sake of convenience. I don't think that that argument is true. I don't think that argument is going to last because I don't think that the country really wants more of that uh, in the end. Now, do I hope that they want, are willing to overlook that long enough to stop Bernie Sanders from being president? Sure. I mean, but, is it, but at the same time, uh, am, I, am I worried about the, the permanent effect of Trump? Again, I, I, I'm, I think that Democrats broke the country when it came to the morality issue in high office and then Trump completed the break. Uh, I think that we were already moving in the direction of simplistic, stupid politics before Trump, and I think that has exacerbated under Trump. I think that's largely the effect of the media. Uh, I think in some ways Trump has been good, meaning that I think that one, one of the things that Trump has done that is good is he has violated a bunch of pieties that I think are silly. Like Trump just says things that he believes, and that's kind of wonderful. He doesn't speak the, the language of politics that so many people do. He doesn't mince words. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. So. Would I say that he's done more harm to the social fabric than good? Yeah, I think overall President Trump has done more harm to the social fabric than good. Do I think that the social fabric was deeply destroyed by the time Trump got there? I think that too. I think if you wanted to look at one moment that destroyed American politics, I think that the period 2008 to 2012 fundamentally destroyed the United States in terms of politics. I think that in 2012, when the Democratic Party decided to castigate Mitt Romney, the mildest, most milquetoast human being ever to walk the earth, when they decided to castigate him, as a racist, sexist, bigot, homophobe who had binders full of women and liked to strap dogs to the top of cars and, in the words of Joe Biden, wanted to put y'all back in chains. When they decided to do that to Mitt Romney and then Barack Obama won on that basis, I think it was deeply harmful to politics. And I think it pushed Republicans to a point where they said, you know what, we're not going to go with the milk toast guy. We'll go to somebody who will at least punch you in the mouth. And I think that that's exactly what happened with President Trump. Now, I think the punching in the mouth is cyclical. I think that there will come a point where we're all punched out and maybe we go back to, okay, can we please have somebody who is not going to be this for five minutes. But I think it's going to take a little while for us to get there. And I think that it's right now the American people, you know, all of us, are kind of like my five-year-old daughter when she's fussing. Right? She's screaming and she's fussing and she's screaming and she's fussing and eventually she'll get tired. And when we get tired, then we go back to some semblance of normalcy. Um, but it's, it's a, listen, it's a weird time. How can you not look at American politics these days and every so often you just look up at the TV and you go, whoa, Donald Trump's president, what happened? That's, a, that's weird. I mean, whether you like him or not, like we, we definitely went into the, the wrong timeline from Back to the Future. I, somehow Biff placed that bet on the sports book in 1955, and now he runs the hotel and everything's weird. Eventually, there will be a, an interest in the weirdness ending, but I think right now that is, that is less likely than more likely. And if we get a Bernie Trump election cycle, at this point, maybe I should just root for entertainment value, honestly. Like the writers of this season are excellent. As they got in the writer's room, they're like, we're going to pull out all the stops. It's going to be just fantastic. I mean, we're going to have actresses who are paying people to bribe them to, so their kids can go to college. We're going to, like, bring back the full house lady. Like, the, the, the writers of this season of Trump, it's like season five of Trump, excellent, excellent writers. I have to say, the writer's room has really done it. And they, they've justified their presence. Their salary is justified. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.